Okay, I want to uh, show you how to set up the transpiration lab uh, that we're going to be doing next class. So I've got a number of different things here. I've got the, the pressure probe set up here. It's connected to the interface in the back here. Um, got a pair of scissors handy. I've got a plastic tube that we're going to need <clears throat> and a syringe and a plant. Okay, I think that's all for now. So this is a little tricky to set up. Uh, what you need to, what we're ultimately trying to do is we're going to be putting the, the plant into one end of the tubing and we're going to connect the other end of the tubing uh, to the pressure probe. Okay, And again, as the, as the plant, once it's connected, as the plant transpires and loses, um, loses water vapor from the leaves, it's going to pull on the water that's in this tube, which is connected to the gas pressure sensor, and it's going to increase the pressure um, in, there. Uh, in the pressure. And, and we're going to be able to measure the transpiration rate simply by the uh, amount of pressure change that occurs. So in order to set this up, what you need to do is you need to get water in this tube. Now, it doesn't have to be chock a block full because we don't want the... We don't want the tube that's connected to the pressure probe to, to be too full with water because we don't want we don't want any water to get into the pressure probe. So I'm going to attach the uh, the syringe to the tube, and I'm just going to pull up pull up a certain amount there. Okay, and then you can hold the two ends together like like this close to the end, and then just pull off your syringe. So, uh, I don't know if you can see there, there's the, the levels of water, okay? So you can, you can change the levels of water on each side, okay, by going up and down. Now, um, you can do this with two people, okay? I don't have two people here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect this end to the clamp just to hold it, okay? And this is the end that you're going to put the plant in. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but the water levels you can change by by lowering it. Okay, and what you ab this is absolutely critical for the for the experiment. You can't have any air between the stem of the plant and the uh, and the water. So this needs to be completely filled with water. So what you need to do is with your partner, make sure that you have. Um, you can see the see. I don't want to hold it over my computer, but you can see a bubble of of air of water coming out. So make sure that the water's up at the top. Cut a new 45 degree angle on your stem of your plant. I've already done that, but you want to do it underwater because you want no air to come um, into the stem, otherwise it's not going to work. So you cut it underwater and then as quick as you can, you want to move the plant over to the tube and you want to just insert it as far as it goes without breaking the stem. Okay, well, it's in there. It's in there pretty tight. the The key to this um, is that it has to be it has to be an airtight seal. Okay. Now, uh, what I would do at this point then is is to to dry off the tube. Okay, and then take some parafilm and wrap it around the tube. Now, again, it's going to have to be pretty dry in order for this to work. Okay, but I would just wrap. Wrap that around. Make sure that it's airtight. Okay. Wrap around a number of times. Okay. And then you're ready to attach it. So, again, now now there's there's now you can see it's airtight because the I'm lifting the plant way up, but the water level isn't moving. The water level is just staying the same right there. It doesn't, doesn't matter what I do. So that's a good sign. Okay. So then you want to. Uh, Set this up where you just you just kind of have to hold the plant, and you don't want to you don't want to crush it or anything. It doesn't matter if the leaves are are straight, okay? And then you want to attach it to the pressure probe. Again, that really needs to be tight sealed, okay? Otherwise, it's not going to work, okay? All right, just close this up a little bit. Hold the hold the plant in place. And then you are you are ready to go. So all you need to do is start your uh, 
um, start the pressure probe and wait for the results.